Welcome back to the JSFL. We got Monday night primetime week seven. The two and four Detroit Power and uh, the three and three leaders of the North Minneapolis Fishers. Detroit is the favorite here Monday night as they are ranked much higher than the 12th ranked Fishers. They are sixth ranked. And we're here, Minneapolis, Minnesota, for this game. I'm on the call. Josh Hexel, that is. And let's get this going. The injury report. Two returning from Minneapolis is Jared Aguilar and Ronaldo Hoskins. But one new one on the injury report. He'll be back next week, though. Small injury. Lewis McCormick. Wilbur Lamb also ne back next week. So two injuries for that Minneapolis side. Same here for Detroit. One injury that was already there. Hugo Bell back the week of the championship. So he could be out for the whole season, depending on how far Detroit goes. And Taylor Little, he'll be out for two weeks back week nine. So a huge injury, but they do have Steve Watts. And he is a very, very good backup. So this should be an interesting one as we'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, Detroit will be getting the ball first as they get ready in these warm-ups here. Good game here, a divisional matchup for Week 7 Monday Nighter. It could be to see who controls this division. It will be, actually, to see who can lead the North. So a big game for Detroit if they want to get going on the right path. As Minneapolis has been struggling these past few weeks. And here is the kickoff. And we are underway here. Monday night football. Return from Watts to the 23. And that's where this offense will start. And Sean Richardson will come out with the offense. Sean Richardson, 105 completions of 134 attempts. 1,162 yards, 6 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. And his attempts on the ground are 31. And he has 206 yards. Two rushing touchdowns and two broken tackles. First and ten. Here is play action. Richardson looking to throw. Caught his tight end. Hector McDaniel pushing forward and almost the first down off the first play. Because that was a good play from the tight end, Hector McDaniel. This offense is very good, and they are missing that key player, Taylor Little, but I still think there's plenty of power to go around. Second and one. It's a toss. Out to Steve Watts. Watts. Juke move. Nice way to make a man miss. And that's what I'm telling you. One of the best backups in the league, Steve Watts. Randall Hilton is going to be on the tackle. But that's just great. Like Even if you don't have Taylor Little, Steve Watts just shows up that first carry. He can be explosive and electric. Four receiving options out wide. Steve Watts in the backfield. Richardson, handoff, draw. Watts tries to make a man miss. Will not happen. Two yards. Let's look at this Detroit offense. The Powers offense ranks fourth in the league. Rushing, number one. Big help to those old linemen up there. And the pass offense, not as good. Number eight. But this is the team that will run first, and they've shown that they can do that this season so far for the first half. A very good old line, very good options, just the whole offense, very good for Detroit. Richardson, searching, throwing over the middle, caught McDaniel. Nice catch, two completions for Richardson, both to Hector McDaniel. Oh no, wait, that's his first. I think the first one was John Kramer. Oh, that was my bad, I got the two mixed up. John Kramer was on the first catch, McDaniel on the second one here. Two t three tight ends in the formation. It's going to be a handoff. Watts. Watts running to the outside. Breaks a tackle. Can't break the second. A yard on the play. Let's look at the Fisher defense now. The Fisher's defense ranked fifth in the league. Fifth on the run. And in the past, just a little worse, six. But that is just a very solid defense all around. 
and they've been very solid. They picked up some people in free agency, swapped some people around, and it's just a very good defense all around. Injuries have flagged them a bit, but they've still been a good defense. Now here for second and nine after the small run. Richardson. Throwing, and this one caught on the curl. Hugh Brooks breaks the tackle. Another one. And finally wrapped up at the 33. And Hugh Brooks shows explosiveness there with a nice 15-yard gain. As Detroit moves the first down, chains. That was a good play. He just breaks tackle, switches formation, breaks another one. He was lucky that there's more people behind him. First down 10 from the 33. Three tight ends. Play action. Richardson throwing. And that is caught. Oh, my. What a catch by Ross Brock, the rookie third string. Four completions, four targets, four catches. Ross Brock, that one. So he's got three completions to his three tight ends and then his star wide receiver. First and ten in the red zone now. It's been a great opening drive. Richardson throwing. Caught. Brooks. Oh, no. What a play. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Not so fast. That's not the quote, but I do not care. That is what the defensive back, Jeffrey Lee, just did. He had the curl route before this time. Almost has him again, but he's able to switch his hips quick enough and get that ball incomplete. Your second 10 after incompletion. Handoff. Watts. Draw. And he's going to get a third and short off a nine yard carry there. Third and one. The official mark. Let's see what this offense has in mind and if the defense can stop it. This would be a good stop right here, bending and not breaking by Minneapolis. They do have three receiving options out wide with Chris Hernandez, Hugh Brooks. Here's play action. Little, or not little, Richardson throwing and he's short. He got it out to Steve Watts, but tackled before the sticks in a great play by Jared Aguilar. Coming back off the injury this week, and what a time to do it. Nice divisional home game, or on the home game, yeah. And he tackles Steve Watts there for a big play on this first drive. It's fourth down now. We'll see if they go for it or they want to just bring out the kicker. It's fourth and one. Here is the field goal kicker to try and attempt. This one up and good. 27 yards right through the pipe. And 3-0 is how this one's going to start off here in Minneapolis. So Detroit drives all the way to the red zone. Can't convert. Has to kick. We'll see what Minneapolis can do to match it. So I think both sides have to kind of feel grateful of what they got there. Detroit, you got points, but Minneapolis, they were moving on them, and they stopped them down. So both sides pretty happy with that result, I would say. And now let's see what Minneapolis can do to counter that. So the kick away. That was almost a four. It was a 450 drive, almost five minute drive from Detroit. Here we go. It's a return from Sanchez. And he gets it to the 26-yard line. It'll be decent field position for this Minneapolis offense. Led by one Tony Dackerson. 110 completions, 144 attempts, 951 yards, 6 touchdowns, 5 picks. On the ground, 25 attempts for 174 yards, 3 touchdowns. Been a decent season for Dackerson, but he'd like to pick it up here. First and 10. I form. Running. Hoskins. Hoskins with a nice carry. Almost got free there. Seven yards, you'll take it. Nicholas Stone on the tackle. Stick. 
You're a second and three now from the Fishers. Here's a wide receiver screen to Nestor Hood, and he is blown up. Minus four yards. What a defensive play by Zachary Bryant. Wow. He read that out right away. Nestor Hood just could barely catch it before he got drilled. I don't know if that was a read option. But he did not make the good option. Third down seven now. It'd be a bad time to go out here. Daxon, blitz coming, throwing, curl, and he stopped short. Five-yard catch, Yvonne Ifsten, but tackled short of the line. It's Curtis Townsend making this fourth down. That was a good tackle and wrap-up by the corner. He caught it, turned, and just got hit by Curtis Townsend. Nice wrap-up in open field. So fourth down and two, and just like that, Detroit's defense looking pretty good to start this game. Only one first down given up, not past the 50 at all. Punt now by Minneapolis, and this one's a nice one. Watts the return. Oh, he makes a man miss. Gets it to the 23, and we'll see what Detroit can do for their second drive. The offense for Fishers, they're ranked pretty good, though. Six in the league. They're six rushing offense, and they are the six pass offense, so in that middle pack. I'll tell you what the defense is after this play. Two backs in the backfield. Richardson, handoff. Watts. Watts getting some room. Ooh, makes a wrong turn there. Could have had some more, but a seven-yard game. That Detroit defense is ranked number 11th in the league, so it was good to see them make a stop there. In the run game, they're third, though, so it's very good for them, but in the pass, 11. They've not been good against the pass this season. Second and three. Here is a run. Watts. Oh, missed tackle. Steve Watts trying to make another man miss, but he gets into the 41 off a 10-yard gain. And Steve Watts is getting some nice carries here early. They say, hey, our best player might be out, but we have a back that can do the exact, the exact same thing. And they just let him loose tonight. And it's working so far. At the 41 now, Watts and Munoz in the backfield. Here is Richardson. Richardson, going to run. Richardson with some open field. Cuts. Another man miss. Broken tackle. And he's fighting. Down to the 40. 19-yard gain for Sean Richardson. And that is some power football right there. Wow, what a gain by Sean Richardson. First, a missed tackle. As you see that, broken tackle. And then he powers through in the pile. He's trying to play rugby out here. And it's always nice to see these quarterbacks try to play physical instead of just sliding down. It's something nice to see. Now from the other 40. Oh, flag on the play. It is going to be on Detroit. I think that's on McDaniel. Oh, no, they're going to call that on Rodney Holt, the right tackle. So now first and 15 after the jump. Richardson, play action. Richardson searching, throwing, and this one caught sideline. What a placement from Sean Richardson. Hector McDaniel, the recipient of the catch. And that's a Detroit first down. First and 15 don't matter. Let's move those chains right along. And they do just that. That was a great ball from Sean Richardson. And that's what one of the best quarterbacks in the league will do to you. You just saw how he could hurt you on his, with his legs last play. This time, hurt you with the arm. First and ten. Steve Watts, the lone back. Richardson, searching, throwing, caught McDaniel. That one was a little tighter coverage, but McDaniel jumps it. And he gets the catch for six yards. He's got three catches here in this first quarter. And if he is, keeps that on pace, he could have 12 catches. That would be a pretty good game for the tight end. 
Almost to the red zone for this offense once again. Can they cash in this time? Here is a toss. Watts. Watts with some nice blocking. Watts hits the edge. Watts, 10. Down to the 5. First down and goal. Detroit. And Steve Watts having a fire first quarter. 7 attempts, 48 yards. He is on fire. A great way to start it off. And he had the option to lead Detroit this year. But he opts to stay in and be the backup. I guess he just really likes the culture then. Because you can see right now how he could be a starting back on a lot of different teams. And it's first down and goal now as this first quarter is winding down. First and goal from the five. Richardson, three-step drop. He's running, and down at the one, he slides. That time, he doesn't go for the power football. Saw two defenders. And he got a little, maybe scared there, and then he slid down. I don't know. I'm surprised Sean Richardson didn't try to take into contact. And they could wind this down to the end of the first quarter if they wanted to. Two tight ends up front. Watts, running, touchdown! And the first quarter ain't done yet. Steve Watts with the cut. Oh, no, wait. Is that Emmanuel Miller? It is. It's Emmanuel Miller, the rookie running back. I think that's his first career touchdown. I got to look. And that is Emmanuel Miller's first career touchdown in the JSFL. And his teammates are hyping him up. Here is the extra point to make it 10 0. And it is good. And this is a very good start for Detroit to try to take back the North. That drive, eight plays, 81 yards, three minutes, 26 seconds. Very proficient drive. Manuel Miller finishes off with a cash in touchdown. He had five carries, 32 yards till up to this point. And Steve Watts, only 4 for 34, and a touchdown as well. Seven seconds left to go in this first quarter as the kickoff is away. This one taken in by Sanchez in his own end zone. He's going to take it out. To the 19. Four seconds left in the first quarter. Most likely our last play. Dackerson. Going to be a draw. Hoskins. Hoskins. Spin move doesn't work. Four yard carry. And that is the end of the first quarter. 10 nothing here in Minneapolis. Detroit out to a very good start. As they try to win the North. In this week 7 matchup. Big divisional game. This is the last time these two teams would play, so it's a huge game. Second and six. Motion to Nestor Hood. It's going to be a fake, and it's going to Hoskins, and wow, he kind of got blown up there. Two-yard gain, but a good play by that Detroit defense. It's third and three. And this is the 11th-ranked pass offense. You know they have a good ground defense, but try passing on these guys a bit. They've been running with Hoskins. I guess he's good back, but... Trust the second-year quarterback. Third and three. Dackerson. Going to look to Rod. Dackerson. First down. Oh, it's a fumble. Picked up by Detroit. What a hit stick. Sammy Hansen on the recovery. And Tony Dackerson with a big-time error there. Was trying to get more, but laid a boom on him. Who, is, who lays that boom? I think that's Nicholas Stone. Yep, that's Nicholas Stone. That's a Nicholas Stone forced fumble. And it, what was going to turn into a first down turns into a turnover. And this Detroit offense has been very electric to start this game. Might be able to make it three scores. First and ten starting at their opposing 32. 
Richardson hands it off. Watts flag on the field, but he gets a first down for the moment. Holding on the offense. This is going to be called on Hector McDaniel. And it's going to be a first and 20 now. Set back a little bit. I formation from the power. Richardson searching, throwing. This one caught Hugh Brooks. Sideline catch. And second and 10 now. So basically just say first down didn't happen. You got two downs. Hugh Brooks, two catches, 25 yards for him. Second and 10 from the 32. Richardson. Searching, throwing, caught Brooks. And it's inside the red zone now. First down at the 14. As Hugh Brooks moves the chains. I had that 10-yard game last time. A little more than 10 yards this time. It's a first down. Just a nice fit there by Sean Richardson. Jared Aguilar is going to get him down. And for this Minneapolis defense, this is huge. They've got to get some kind of stop here to make it a two-score game still. First down and 10. Watts, play action. Richardson searching. He's got a lot of time. Throwing down, check down. It's caught at the eight. Six-yard gain, second and four. I believe that's John Kramer on the catch. Yes, it is. Second down and four now at the eight-yard line. And for Detroit, this would be a very good opportunity to make this game very hard at the beginning. Yep, two feet in. Good sideline catch by John Kramer. Second and four now at the eight-yard line. Bunch on the bottom of your screen. Here is a run. Watts, big opening. And he gets it down to the three. First and goal. Detroit power. And Minneapolis has got to make a goal line stand here if they want any chance of making this a close game and keeping momentum on their side. But momentum very much on the Detroit side right now, though. So they got to switch it around a little bit. First and goal. Power set out there. Watts, the back. And he's stuffed. Two yards on the game, but he can power in. It's Irwin Badger making the first big stand there. And they're going to need at least two more. If I'm Detroit here and I don't get on second and third and goal, I'm going for a fourth and goal. Unless I'm behind my own five. Near second and goal. I four. Watts again. And he stopped again. Hit hard. It's Clinton Ramirez. Third and goal from the two. And this crowd is getting loud in here. It's third down and goal. And that's two big stops. And Steve Watts looked a little tired on that play, so maybe go to the air. You got the option to run it with Sean Richardson if he wants to. And he's already shown he can be some powerful running. Third down goal to two. Fullback in the back, in the backfield. Third down and goal. It's play action. Richardson throwing incomplete. Brad Gomez on the deflection. And it's fourth and goal. Will they go for it? I don't know. I'd say yes. What a goal line standoff they don't from this Minneapolis defense. Trying to look at, I think he was trying to look at the tight end, Hector McDaniel maybe. But it's fourth and goal. Will they go for it? And no, they're going to opt to field goal it. So after the short field, they're only going to get three. And it's up and good. 13-0 as this Minneapolis team makes a great defensive stand at the goal line. Holds it to a two-score game, and that is huge. But we'll see if this Minneapolis offense can do anything because the loss of Wilbur Lamb this week is really hurting them. You can see it on the field where Daxon just can't find an open receiver because they're missing their best one, Wilbur Lamb. Oh, 
And here's the kick up as Minneapolis will get the ball for the third time. Take it in from the four is Sanchez to the 25, out to the 27 yard line. That's where Detroit, will, I mean, the Minneapolis will start their drive. And that was a great job by their defense, only holding them to three after the turnover. And Daxon has got to do something to show some gratitude. At least points. You cannot have a punt on this drive. First down and 10. Handoff. Hoskins. Hoskins turning around. Getting it to the 35. A nice gain there. It's second and three. And I know they want to get the running game going, but come on. This is the 11th ranked pass defense. Throw the ball. Second and three now. Daxson. Handoff. Hoskins is blown up. They read that one real quick. As David Medina and Nicholas Stone get in there in a hurt. Third down and four. And now in a pretty obvious passing situation, and Detroit might be dialing in now. And it, this is how it's been going. It's been run, run, pass, run, run, pass. And it's not really working that well. They've got maybe one or two first downs, but not much has been done offensively here for Minneapolis. Third and four, critical third down here in this early game. Daxon, throwing, caught, Lua, oh my god, he dropped it. Hit last second, drops the ball, fourth down. Lowell Snyder cannot hold on. I believe Sammy Hansen forced that incompletion. Yes, that's Sammy Hansen with a good pass breakup. He's trailing, going with Sanchez, sees the ball, and that's good defensive play. Watching the quarterback's eyes the whole time. And another punt coming from this Minneapolis defense. Just hasn't held the ball. Been sloppy. And Detroit will get the ball back. Oh, this is going to be a good punt. Inside their own 10 at the 9-yard line. So let's see if this Minneapolis defense can make another few good plays and make a punt here. So here comes Steve Watts. 10 carries, 54 yards. The 5.4 yards per carry. That's only the first half. So he's like, hey guys, can I touch the ball a few more times before halftime? And I'm sure they'll say yes. First and 10. Watts gets that carry. And not much to do with it. Only three yards on the game. Second and seven. Good job by the... Defense of Minneapolis to keep those holes pretty close. Second and seven. That's getting closer to halftime here in this Monday nighter. Richardson searching. Rolls out a bit. Throwing. Throws it. Caught Hugh Brooks. Two yard gain. Pretty good defense there by Jared Aguilar. And it's third down and five. And this would be a huge third down stop for this Minneapolis defense. Trying to get the ball back to their offense before halftime. Third down and five now for Detroit. Watts in the back with Richardson. Richardson, blitz coming, throwing, caught Brooks, short of the game. Oh, almost broke it free, but they do get the wrap up. And that is going to be fourth down. Dustin Shelton is the one to make initial contact, and he's going to stop him. Well, this is great teamwork. By Dustin Shelton, and is that Brad Gomez? I believe it is. But that's not Brad Gomez. Who is that? Oh, Jeffrey Lee. Dustin Shelton and Jeffrey Lee get him out of bounds. And that's going to be fourth down. So fourth down and four. Here is the punt. Good job by that defense to get three and out. Take it in from the 28. A nice return as he's Carlton Sanchez still going to the 41. And with good field position, this Minneapolis offense has got to do something. So I have 3.40 left to go before we hit halftime. 
So three di three drives, zero points on this offense. Let's see what ha number four has in store. Daxon throwing, and this is caught. Nestor Hood, and he's laid a hit stick on him by Nicholas Stone. But a nine-yard catch nonetheless, and it's second and short. And there you go, not running on first down. Let's see if they take my advice a little more and keep airing it out a little bit. At least try it out on this drive. Second and one, very heavy set on the field. It is a run, yes. Hoskins getting a nice carry and a first down past midfield to the 44-yard line, and it's first down Minneapolis. Christopher Keller on the tackle. So first down and 10 now, Minneapolis trying to get at least some points on this drive. Here is a carry, Hoskins searching. And he gets him to the 32, first down and 10, Minneapolis. Good carry there from Hoskins. And it is first down. First down, 10 to 32. Screen. Wire receiver screen to Hood. Hood breaks a tackle. And he gets it to the 24. And Nestor Hood is down now. Second and two. Not a good injury here for Minneapolis. Already missing their best receiver, Wilbur Lamb. And he's on the sideline. Seems to be just a little shaken up. But seems to be all good, so he'll probably be back. But for right now, Andy Gibson's going to take his place. Second and two, almost to the two-minute warning here. Could be our last play before that. Almost in the red zone now for this Minneapolis offense. Here is a carry, Hoskins, and he's blown up in the backfield. Two-minute warning. Good stop by that Detroit defense, and it's third down and two. Big play now for both sides of the ball. Minneapolis trying to make it a one-score game. Detroit trying to at least keep it to a two. So that a great half for the power. Let's see if they can make it even better. Third down two. Daxon. A little bit of a blitz. Five-man blitz. Daxon. And it's incomplete. Dropped by Yvonne Ifsten. And it's fourth down. Wow. That is a crucial play for this Detroit defense. Is that Josiah Hands that forced that incompletion? I think it was. Number 32. Here is the fourth down. It's a 41-yarder. The kick up, and it is good. Three to 13 with 1.53 left to go in this first half. So Minneapolis does get on the board, and I think they'll take it for now. Just get something to switch a little bit of momentum around. Momentum most definitely still on Detroit's side of the ball, but that's a good play or good drive to get some points. Here is the kick. And this one returned from the one by Watts, and he gets it to the 20. Good play by Taylor Lopez, making him lose five yards. Oh, no, it's Ruiz Hernandez. Who's the return man there? Here comes Steve Watts, though, on the field. 150 left to go. We'll see how aggressive this offense wants to play before halftime, having a two score lead. First down and 10. Here is Richardson. 
Searching, has got some time. Throw in, caught, sideline Hernandez. Pushed out of bounds at the 37. Good game there. And it's a first down. And a pretty big game for Detroit. 18 yards. And that was good blocking. As he had plenty of time to throw that football. You see the speed of Ruiz Hernandez there. Getting the ball in space. And he got some nice... Yards after catch there. First down attempt to 37. Here is a carry from Watts trying to avoid traffic, but went right into it. Second down and nine. Trying to maybe catch him off guard there at the run, but didn't really work. That's only a one-yard game. We'll see if they hurry up. And no hurry from this offense. Second down and nine. They've had 15 run, 15 pass. Here's another pass. Throwing, caught. Victor McDaniel to midfield. And that one almost jumped for a pick, and that would have been huge. But they do get it to the tight end, McDaniel, and it's a first down. No rush from this offense. It's a little surprising. They're going to call a timeout, though. A little weird spot to call it, but that's their first of the half. And with 101 left to go, we get a timeout from Detroit. First down and 10, Richardson, searching, McDaniel, first down to the 39, and they're in field goal range. Could make it just back up to that 13 in the matters of like a minute. First down and 10. Everyone's left. Richardson with a little bit of a blitz throwing, and it's caught. Out of bounds to the 26, Ruiz Hernandez with another great grab. But no, that's Arthur Santos, the rookie speedster. As yes, they did add another speedster from since Ruiz Hernandez last year. They had Arthur, Arthur Santos this year. First down and 10 to 26, 5 wide. Actually, McDaniels in. Blitz coming. Richardson goes down. First sack of the game from either side. Dustin Shelton. The corner blitz. And it's second and long. That was a good dialed up blitz from Minneapolis. Richardson just can't get the ball off in time. As he was trying to run away there. Saw Dustin Shelton a little too late. And that speed of the cornerback gets to him. Second down and 18. Here is a run. Watts just trying to get some space to get a better field goal. One yard. And they're going to wind this thing down and kick a field goal. Ten seconds left. They call a timeout. That was a little early. But will not matter. Sancourt, 13-3, timeout as Detroit trying to extend it to a 13-point lead once again. Is there an attempt to field goal here on third down? Here is a 50-yarder. This one will be up. And it is short. Wow, didn't have the distance. Had the... Had it online, but not enough power. And in a dome, you would not expect that one to be short. Not enough boot on that one. And with six seconds left, Minneapolis will take the ball. That's a good job, technically, by that defense to keep them out of range. 
So we'll see if they go for a deep bomb here. It seems like they're in Hail Mary formation. That's so what they're going to do. Daxon downfield, and that is... Oh, my God, almost caught by Lowell Snyder. But it's halftime. 13-3 at halftime. Detroit with a pretty good first half there. Missed that field goal. But they have held this one pretty good. As you see them lead in every statistic. Takeaways, yards per attempt. Passing and rushing yards and obviously score. This one could be good. Minneapolis just has to get back into the game. They've made some pretty bad plays. And it's cost them. Just better execution. And Minneapolis can find themselves right back in this game. And here we are. Right back in the game. Second and a half. Coming to you, it will be Minneapolis to start with the football. So they can make a big stand right here. Or big drive. And put themselves right back in this football game. Any points would make this a one-score game. A field goal or a touchdown. Here is the kick, and it is away in the second half. Let's get this game going. It is Sanchez to take it out to the 20, and down at the 20. First down will start. They got 80 yards to go for six. If that's what this Minneapolis offense has got to be thinking. So here comes out Daxon. Only six attempts in that first half. They did not have the football because they were going three and out, one first down and out. And they're running the ball a lot. We'll see if that switches up in the second half. A little bit of motion here to Sanchez. And he is not going to get the ball. And David Medina read that so quick. He couldn't even look up before he was hit. Second tackle for loss for Medina. It's second and 13. No fooled. No one fooled on that Detroit defense here. If he broke that tackle, which he probably wasn't, there was more defenders to be found. So second and 13 after a very failed fake jet sweep. So now putting themselves in the second long already. And they're going to run it again with Hoskins. And he's just wrapped up a yard for a yard carry. And it's third and long. I don't know what this Minneapolis ain't getting. That, that form of offense is not working. Third down and 12 now. Is they're going to need a big first down here to keep the drive going. Or it's going to be three and out. Third down and 12. Daxon. Four-man rush. Has some time. Rowing. And this one is caught on the sideline. Wow. Big play there. It has a 30-yard reception for Lowell Snyder. Drops that last third down catch. Not this one. As that is a huge Minneapolis first down. See what's happening when they're throwing the ball on the 11th ranked pass defense? They're getting yards. And it's got to keep doing that. And they have a shot in this football game. The running game, This is the best run defense in the JSFL. I don't know what they're trying to run on them for. Here is another run. Hoskins, decent gain, three yards, second and seven. Jesse Mendes on the tackle. And you might get a big gain every once in a while, but this defense is usually going to win when you try to run the football. They've got two stud linebackers, a really good D-line, and a secondary that's not afraid to tackle. Second and seven. Play action. Daxon, you look to run, and he is sacked. Christopher Keller with the sack. And it is third down and eight. And see it's go play action. They tried to get him a little confused, but it does not. Well, did work. Kish, and then Tony Daxon tries to escape. Christopher Keller gets off his block just in time and gets his third sack on the season. As the rookie has been pretty good for this rookie season of his. Third down and eight. Here is Dackerson, four-man rush, throwing, and it is deflected. Josiah Hands gets in there, and it is fourth down. 
in this Minneapolis offense once again. Let's punt away the football. I think they're just trying to run it too much, and this time he's trying to get to Will Snyder and Josiah Hands. Shows that vertical jump he has. Could have tried to pick that if he wanted to. And that would have probably been six the other way. Fourth and eight is they're going to have to punt. And here is the punt for Minneapolis. This one out of bounds at the nine-yard line. That's another good punt for Minneapolis. We'll see what Detroit has for their first drive of the second half. So here comes out Sean Richardson to take the field. So first and ten from their own nine. Let's see how this goes. Richardson searching. Throwing to this back and as deflected. Dangerous pass there. All he had to do was wrap that one like a baby. And that was six. Still an incomplete second down and ten. Two hundred forty one yards for Detroit and only ninety for Minneapolis. Here is Dackerson lofting this one up and he's got Hugh Brooks wide open to the forty. No one's gonna catch him. He won the foot race. Ten, five, touchdown Detroit Power. Ninety one yards to the crib. And Minneapolis is silent. He just lofted that one up there. He beat his man off the line, Jeffrey Lee. Was confused and lost on that play. Put him on a melt carton. And that is a touchdown, Detroit. And just like that, it's a three score game. That punt did not matter. And that Jared Aguilar deflection that could have turned into six looks really bad right now. As Hugh Brooks takes it the distance 91 yards to the crib. And just like that with the extra point, this will be 20 to 3. And Minneapolis will have to make a big comeback here at home. And this game is huge. It's for the North, and this is the last time these two teams are going to play. And if Detroit does win this, the team with the North that has the lead will have a losing record because Detroit's 2 and 4 right now. They've struggled. Extra point up and good. That drive, two plays, 91 yards. 15 seconds. And this Minneapolis team has to do some reassessing and change up the game plan. Throw the football. It's working for Detroit. And the Minneapolis defense is pretty decent against the pass. Number six in the league. Minneapolis has to get something going to get the crowd back into it. So here is the kick. And it will be Requise, or not Requise, it's Carlton Sanchez taking it out past the 20 to the 24. And that's where Minneapolis will start, and they've got to get something going on this drive. Or it could be lights out here in the third quarter. Here comes Tony Dackerson. To lead his offense, and he needs to get something going. So first and ten at the twenty-four yard line. Here is Ron Hoskins. Decent gain, six yards. Second down and four. So second down and four, and this could be. A good time to pass it because on second down, they've ran it again. And Detroit has usually always been ready. And it's always put them in bad spots on offense. So second and four. And this one. Three-step drop. And he got his. No, it's incomplete. Great job to jump on the football make it third down. Ready, ready. 
We're down to four now from da for Dackerson. Five wide. Dackerson, blitz coming, throwing, and that is caught. Clutch reception by Nestor Hood, and that could just keep him in the game. That was a critical third down early in the third quarter. Three catches, 25 yards for Hoods as Carol Allison was the defender on him. So first and 10 now from the 37. Here is a run. Hoskins with some room. Ronaldo Hoskins might be broken free. But no, he's not. But he does get a big gain to the 49-yard line. 13 carries, 60 attempts for Ronaldo Hoskins. As that one almost broke free, but he was running out of gas there at the end. But that was a great play from Ronaldo Hoskins. Ends up getting tackled by Christopher Keller. Broke Zachary Bryan's tackle, and Christopher Keller just gets there in time. So first and ten now from Detroit side of the field. Is this drive going pretty decent? Daxon looks to throw a blitz coming, and he got it to Nestor Hood. Four-yard gain. It's second down and six. Nestor Hood's got four of Daxon's six completions. He's been the go-to guy so far. Second down and six now from the 45. Here is a play action. Dackerson with some blitz coming. Throwing, and this is caught. It is Yvonne Ifsten with the 15-yard reception and another Minneapolis first down. And the crowd's starting to get a little bit back into it here in Minneapolis. Nice reception there from Yvonne Ifsten coming back on the comeback route, and it works perfectly. Well, tried to swine it down was Hanson, but he just doesn't get to it in time. First down and 10 at the third. It is a handoff. Hoskins with a nice gain to the 21, nine yard carry, second down and one. The run game working a little bit here. I wonder if that Detroit defense is getting a little tired. Second and one. Heavy set out here on the field. Daxon's going to look to throw. Blitz coming. And Tackerson goes down. Amadi Erickson with a six-yard loss off the sack. And that is Detroit's second of the night. Third down now. And this is pretty big for both sides. Amadi Erickson, it was, Daxon was trying to roll out there. Amadi Erickson read it real nice. And he tackles Daxon as he tried to get around him, but could not. Amadi Erickson is too athletic for that. Amadi Erickson coming off that injury. That's his 3.5 sack of the year. Third and seven. Daxon. Going to look to run and runs right into defender. Fumble. Picked up by the defense. And was he actually down? I think that's Jesse Mendez forcing the fumble. That's huge if he was not down. Let's see this here. Jesse Mendez picks him off his feet. I think he's down when that ball comes free. I think that's going to be overturned. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it comes off the force of the ground. Steve Watts, 13 for 59. He's not going to take the field just yet, though. This is going to be overturned. Yeah, boost review. This one's going back. The previous play is under review. So, it will be fourth down, though, when it is overturned. It will likely lead to a Minneapolis field goal, which would make it a two-score game once again, though. Still time in this game. Yeah, you see it, his back does force the ball out. It will be fourth down Minneapolis. Yep, overturned, fourth and 11. 
This one, a 48-yarder. Detroit missed from 50. Let's see what Minneapolis has got. This one is good. Right down the middle, 6-20 to 20 here in Minneapolis, and points are good. 13 minutes and 19 seconds left to go in this game, and two scores is possible. So Minneapolis keeping the hopes alive here as they get three. So Detroit will get the ball back after that huge drive, that quick drive last time. And this one taken out by Hernandez to the 20. And that's where he will be taken down at the 20-yard line. That's where Sean Richardson in the offense will take the football. That's Arthur Santos. How do I keep getting that confused? Q Brooks, six catches, 138 yards, and a touchdown. He's had an insane day after that huge play downfield. Before that, it was 5 for 40, but that one catch makes it huge. First down and 10, handoff, Watts, Watts cuts back and will not even get to the line. Tackled for a loss. It's second and 12. Brad Gomez making the play. And this Minneapolis defense, if they want to win, has got to continue to make plays. Cannot have what happened last time, that huge touchdown. And for Detroit, I wouldn't wind out the clock just yet. Try to keep scoring. Second and 12, and I think that's a jump. Is that to defensive? No, it is on the offense. Is Rodney Holt again? I think it was Rodney Holt once again because Taylor Little jumped on the other side. Second and 17 now. Pretty big here. Motion. Richardson throwing incomplete. Timed it wrong with Hugh Brooks. And it's third and long. Good two plays by this Minneapolis defense. They just need one good stop here. They could even let up some yards. Just don't let up 17. Just no big plays. And this could be a fourth down. Three and out for this defense. Third and 17. Four-man rush. Richardson bombing it downfield. He's got a man. Ruquiz Hernandez. Huge play for Detroit. Ruquiz Hernandez burns the defense. And back-to-back -back bombs on back-to-back -back drives. This one not a touchdown, but it is almost to the red zone. And on third and 17, Minneapolis collapses. Mitchell Phelps this time getting exposed. And this is what this speed of this Detroit defense wants to do. They want to pound you into submission with Taylor Little usually. And then when you're off your guard, they bomb it down deep to their speedsters. Arthur Santos, Raquise Hernandez, Hugh Brooks. First down 10 from the 22. It's Watts. Watts, nice carry to the 15. And he's been a pretty good back today. Not Taylor Little, but he's very good and quick on his feet. Second and three now in the red zone, and geez, that was demoralizing for Minneapolis. Momentum was changing, and now it is looking like Detroit can get some more points and put back to a three-score game. Second down and three. Here is a run. It's Steve Watts, and he gets it to the four-yard line. First down and goal for Watts. And the offense is looking to cash it in with six. And that'd be pretty hard for Minneapolis to come back. That defense is fired up right now. They've only let Minneapolis score six on them. First down and goal. Here's Richardson, blitz coming, had some time though, and he finds Hugh Brooks, touch 
down Detroit. Hugh Brooks, number two on the night. And this is looking like a Detroit W here late in the third. Finds him on the slant. And that is six points for the power. And they are looking like they are going to take the north here from Minneapolis on the road. And we said Minneapolis has been struggling these past few weeks. And the struggles continue here at home on Monday night. Extra point is good. It is 27 to 6. And this one's getting ugly. Wow, that's just crucial. Third and 17. And they let Ruiz Hernandez have that huge bomb. Momentum was shifting, man. And that just that's crucial. I saw Richardson winding it up. I'm like, oh geez. Here is the kick. Taken in from the two. It's Sanchez, and he's going to get wrapped up in the 19-yard line. Great play by Dave Medina. So with 102 left, this Minneapolis has got to be moving and in a hurry. They've got to be perfect on both sides of the ball. First down and 10. Daxon looks to throw. Pressure coming. He gets it off. Oh, no. Incomplete. Great play by Sammy Hansen. Second down and 10. So second and 10 after the incompletion. There's good pressure there by Detroit's defense. Second down and 10. Running the ball is Hernan or not Hernandez, Hoskins. And it's third down and seven. He's had 15 carries for 72. The Detroit defense has done pretty good on him, but he has still had some pretty good carries. Third and seven. Could be the last play of the third quarter. Minneapolis needs a first down. Daxson searching incomplete. David Medina all over it. As he was looking for Lowell Snyder. Fourth and seven. And I don't know. Do you punt here? It's really far back in your own territory. But with the way this defense has given up big plays recently, I think you should think about going for it. And they're not. They're going to punt this away. And their defense is going to have to do really good things right now. Fourth down and seven. It's a punt taken in from the 20 by Santos. And he is wrapped up at the 27. First down and 10 for Detroit. 17 seconds left to go in this third quarter. Here comes out Richardson, 19 for 23. 326 yards and two touchdowns. As he's been very good in this game. First down and 10. Richardson. Searching, throwing, and complete. Good defense. As he's looking for Arthur Santos there. And incomplete. Second down and ten. Here is Richardson. Blitz coming. Throwing. Caught. First down. And that is not what you need for Minneapolis. That will be the final play of this third quarter. Santos on the reception. First down. This has a good connection there as he just gets open on the slant and moves the chains. And that's what we want at this point in the game for Detroit. Quarter ends 27-6 as this one is getting 
ugly here in Minneapolis. As Detroit has the ball, and they have a three-score lead. First down and 10, handoff, Watts, and he gets the ball to the 43. They're trying to strip him there. I think it was Jared Aguilar trying to strip him, but he can't. Second down and six. Yeah, if Minneapolis wants a chance to get back in this game, turnovers are key. Four, three and outs and turnovers, that's what you need. And for this Minneapolis offense, Wilbur Lamb not being here has been huge. Winding clock now for this offense, and it's going to be a carry to Watts as it's third down and two. So third down and two. We'll see if they want to keep the ground game or move the ball through the air a little bit here. Two tight ends in the formation on the side. Here is Richardson. A little bit of pressure, and he gets it. Move the chains, Hector McDaniel. And that's all you want. Wine clock and move those chains. Or that's that's John Kramer, my bad. Their build is so similar. I just forgot it. I forget. They one's five and one's eighty-five. You just don't think of John Kramer's like a blocking tight end, so you don't think of him as, as athletic as Hector McDaniel. But well, he made a pretty good play there, moving the chains. First and ten, three tight ends. Run, Watts. Oh, he's got some room. Steve Watts gets hit by Jeffrey Lee, but he stumbles for a Detroit first down. And they're in field goal range once again. But actually, this might be in range where their kicker missed. It don't really matter at the moment, though. As Steve Watts gets a nice first down. And Tony Daxson upset on the sideline. First down and 10, I form. As they're looking to ground and pound. Here's a run, Watts. Watts with a nice gain. I think Minneapolis defense is kind of giving up. Watts over 100 yards, 20 carries, 103 yards. Second down and one now. It's play action. Richardson looking to throw. He's got a man. Short completion to Arthur Santos. First down and ten. This is the perfect drive for Detroit. They're just winding off a lot of clock and getting first downs. Horse Wagstaff for the tackle on Minneapolis' defense. First down and 10. Play action once again. Richardson going to look to run. Richardson to the 20. And at that point, you might just want to slide down. Don't want to risk an injury. Second and four. Second down and four. Richardson. Searching, and that is incomplete. Looking for Steve Watts, but Clinton Ramirez on the play. Third down and four. This play, not too big, as this game is pretty much over. Three scores with under six minutes. We'll see what happens here. Third down and four. McDaniel and Watts in the backfield. That's Miller, actually. Throwing, caught, it's McDaniel. And it is first down and goal. Six catches, 67 yards for Hector McDaniels. He's had quite the night. And it's first down as Dustin Shelton wraps him up on the play. So first down and goal now for this Detroit offense. Just trying to wind out the clock. Get it to all zeros. They're going five wide, though. Well, four wide in McDaniel. Here is Richardson searching. Going to run. Nice spin move. And Richardson slides down at the five. 
Evading pressure by Sean Richardson. Second down and five. Five minutes to go in this football game on Monday night. As it looks like Detroit is going to win the Battle of the North. Second down and five. Motion, Brooks. Pass, Richardson, searching. Richardson going to look to take off, and he is in. Touchdown, Detroit. Swung him the wrong way. Clinton Ramirez gets, lets Richardson power in. As he wins the battle, touchdown Detroit Power. And just like that, it's a 27 lead. Yeah, just try swinging him around to the ground, and he swung him in the end zone. Crossing the plane. Dustin Jones just kind of sat there. He could have maybe helped the defender out a bit. And just like that, the power is really on here in Minneapolis. As this is a really good road victory. For Detroit. Extra point good. With 435. That was 13 plays, 74 yards, and 5 minutes and 42 seconds. Nice, long, put away drive. And Minneapolis defense just looked like they weren't in it. And the way their the Minneapolis offense has moved, didn't like look like they were gonna be anyway. I don't know if they're just off today. It could be Wilbur Lamb not being here, but it was not going good. And this Detroit Power team without Taylor Little is destroying. They're without their best player. Well, Steve Watts has done a great job today. So the kickoff with 435 left to go. And we'll see if Minneapolis wants to try anything here. Late in the fourth. Four hundred ninety one yards for Detroit, only one forty two for Minneapolis. Richards or not Richardson, Daxson looking, throwing, caught. It is Ronaldo Hoskins. That's Daxon's 8 for 15 and 83 yards. No picks, two f or one fumble, though. And it's under 100 yards. And that's a really good job by this 11th ranked pass defense. So they might be moving up on that defensive chart. Second down and six. Daxon looking, throwing. Wow, timing really off there. I think he was looking for Hoskins. You just need to put some more air under that. Third down. And another stop here. It would show how dominant this Detroit defense has been all game long. Third and six. Daxon looking. Snyder, I think he's short of the line. And yes, fourth down and one. Great tackle by David Medina. Keeping him short of the sticks. It's fourth down. Well, Snyder, two catches, 35 yards. We'll see if they go for it. What the call is here. Might just punt it away. Don't want Detroit to score any more points. Yep, they're going to bring out the punt team. A three and out by the Minneapolis offense. They'll go right back to Detroit. Not going to be returned. And this is going to be another good punt by the Minneapolis punter at the five yard line. Is the punter is the player of the game for Minneapolis right now? Here is first and ten from the five. Richardson under center. Hand off Watts. Watts going to get to the 11-yard line. Six yards. This is great. Night continues. Check back and check 
Second down and four, just winding time. After this play, will probably go to the two-minute warning. And here is Watts, another first down. Now bring it to the two-minute warning. And it probably should just be three kneels after the two-minute warning. As this game is very much over. And no point for Minneapolis to use their timeouts. Use first down and ten, two minute warning. Thirty four to six. Is this game very much over? And it looks like Detroit is gonna be the new runners in the north. As they are very much ahead of Cincinnati. And now with this tiebreaker game, both teams are three and four. As they will be the leaders now. Running is Watts, and it is a first down. They are still running the football. And Watts is padding those stats. 5.5 yards per carry. As the North Sanders will be Detroit Power 3 and 4, Minneapolis Fishers 3 and 4, and Cincinnati Hounds 1 and 6. As this could be the game on Monday Night Primetime to get Detroit back into the swing of things. They've struggled in that first half of the season. That's another run. Watts, good carry to the 36, seven yard gain, 24 carries, 136 attempts. That's one more play should do it here from Minneapolis. What was a dominating win for the Detroit Power? Almost a jump there by Renee Galvin. And here will be your last play of the game. Running Watts, and that's a tackle for loss. Good play. His final stat line for Watts, 25 carries, 132 yards. Dustin Shelton again in the backfield for the TFL. And that should do it for your ball game. Should be handshakes. That's all she wrote. And with another struggling in L here, I don't think Minneapolis is going to get a swing of things anytime soon. They had home field advantage. It was to keep position on the north and have a two-game lead over Detroit. They just weren't able to do anything. The offensive breakdown for Detroit was 31 carries, 29 passes. And that is it. 34-6 is your final here in Detroit. The power. Win the north. Or not win the north. They're in front of the north. As they are in the playoff picture right now. Player of the game, T da or Sean, Dacker Sean Richardson, 356 yards, two touchdowns, 79% passer completion. As he comes into Minneapolis and whoops the Fishers. 28-point lead. As they won every statistic category. That will be all she wrote here in Minneapolis as week eight will be coming. As soon as you know it, I have been your commissioner, commentator, and player, Joshua Hexel, and I will see you in the next one.